Okay, good morning. So we're up to Simon uh, Reish Tezayin, Sif Gimel. So you asked about uh, aftershave and perfume. Uh, do you make a bracha on that? That is coming up in Mitzvah Shem today. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, in Sif Gimel, Al Havered Val Hakinamoin, on uh, roses and on cinnamon, Shehu Shehu Uragdi, Va'al, we'll see what Mishabur says about that. Va may have vered and on rose water, while halavina, and we'll see that's frankincense, we'll see what that means. Va'ha matztiki, va'chiyotzi bohem, and all of these things, the brach is beire atse besomim. Says the Mishabur, ala vered, humash anukairin roizish, that's we call it rose, for kamash melon bezer, afal pisha roi lachila, even though. The, the rose petals are edible. Al yedei mirkachas and mavarchin alein. You you crush them and then you can make a brach on them. Come vuvu b'simen reish talat simen yudasif yudalef. I feel hachi lein nuchel levarich al reicha shenosan reich tov b'peiros. You don't make a brach shenosan reich tov b'peiros, which is the normal bracha you make on fruit that are edible that has got an, that have got a nice smell. Kimen she'eni kar omed lachila el lareach because. Roses are not generally made for eating, they're made for smelling. You make the bracha therefore of atse besomim. We're talking about roses that are grown on trees, but those are in the ground. If you if you produce from the from the eight from the from the from the branch for who miskay mishana lashana and it's a perennial and the actual tree the rose bush uh, stays there year after year the hainu sheino eats misyabish for kol becher if it doesn't sort of uh, disintegrate and uh, and die yevarich but very atze besomim like any tree type product we efshe she gam ha beisals of moed lazev v'tzarich iyun now uh, it's interesting so so what bracha do you make if you smell some roses. So this is really what we're still talking about. So the halacha, what, what is the conclusion then? So if you look in footnote number 20, he says, um, that you have to be careful about the fact that you have to be careful about the fact that you even though he, that's what he says, it could be that roses in those days, they, uh, like a banana bush, they sort of just disappear and they regenerate, you know, each new year. However, you know, the rose tree uh, stands from year to year. And therefore, if you, if you go over to a nice rose bush, it's got a nice smell. Uh, the broch you make is beire atse besomim, because when I checked uh, online, I wasn't sure is, is a rose bush a perennial or is it an annual? Perennial means that it's there, or annual means it just reappears every year. An apple tree, yeah, is a perennial. The tree is there the whole year. It's just uh, you know, and then, and then it just goes quiet in the winter. But the actual tree stands, as opposed to an annual, which means that the whole bush disappears. That would be enough kamina halacha according to most rishonim about uh, what bracha b'priyadon b'priyadon But either way, the rose bush is a perennial, and therefore you would make beire uh, beire uh, atse besomim on smelling roses. It stays the whole year. Yeah, it's got a din of an eighth rather than... Yeah, an, as I told you, yeah. when you keep it, I do into a lemon, I put in... Uh, the cloves. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. And nobody knows exactly... Yeah, so... Yes, yeah, so... Many, some people say, Atsa Pesumim, some people say, Atsa Pesumim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, uh, then let's go back to Yudchez. Ur Hindi. Oh, no. So he says, says the Mishnah, Ta Soifa. It's an actual, this is an, uh, an error here. For Tzarech Loma, Ud Hindi. Not Ur, but Ud Hindi. Ube Uray. The explanation is, eight. Boisem habomi eretz hoidu, some sort of uh, boisem which comes from hoidu, ki ud, who eats belosh in Arabic, it's eats in Arabic, for Hindi hainu mi eretz hoidu, for sheshom gidun, and that's where they grow, and that's what the Gon says. For I'm bishai tshuva mashikosu v'shem machazik bracha. Okay, may have ered, petal, a sort of rose petal water, hainu bein may halachluchis sheyotzim have ered, either the moisture that comes from the actual rose, by squeezing it, or you actually sort of soak it and cook it in water. They haven't got the dinner fruit themselves. So if you look at 21, he says, uh, 
מחומר כיומיים, כל זמן שאלה שוב זה לציין ש... כימיים. כימיים, כן. אז רוז ווטר, which smell, he says you make ברי מיני בסומים. because it's, uh, that's the more generic bracha. So on this rose water, he says, better okay. okay, now, then we said, halavoyna, and uh, this matzaki, all of these things you say, atzei besomim. So he says over here, what is halavoyna? Now, if we always translate levoyna as frankincense. Well, what is frankincense? It means as much to us as levoyna, right? So what, what is uh, frankincense? So again, I looked it up. Uh, I saw pictures of the trees. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, we see the actual frankincense. It's like a hard gum-like material and it comes from the trunk of a, of a it's called the um, a buselia tree okay whatever that's the type of tree so it's it's a gum-like material you find it in the, in various places in its straw so who cat of yates and mishashi it's the gum-like material that comes from the shashim of the eights uh vahamitz the key what is that who min eights shesoraf shaloi the sraf shaloi nice in reach tov so here again i looked it up and it's It's called a gum tree. It's often translated as a eucalyptus tree as well. So again, you can see pictures of it. So either way, all of these things, you make a bore atse besomim. Okay, beseda. Dalet. Al shemen afarsimoin mevarich bore shemen orev. On the oil of afarsimoin, you make bore shemen. Arav says the Mishabura, na shemen afarsimoin. So he says, hud sorry beloshen amikra. This is what the Torah refers to as sorry. V'chait chin ha'etz. You cut the wood, or makalfin oisa, and you fold it. The note of shemen and oil emerges from it. Muska b'shas had sorry ein el esraf hanotef me atzei haketef. It's this straf. Now it's interesting. We translate um, we translate it as uh, as balsam. Um, but if you look, balsam is it's not the. It's sometimes if you look it up, it says that it's it's the persimmon. You know, persimmon. But it's not the modern persimmon. The persimmon nowadays you have like a fruit. It looks like a. You know that, that sort of orange type of fruit, a persimmon. I don't know what other it's called, but the balsam is not the a persimmon, yeah. But it's not the modern persimmon. It's it's an old persimmon tree. Again, you can see it online. I, I checked it out. So either way, um, that's what that is. And you make the brach of berin shemen orev. Says chafkimel mipnei shenim seberet yisrael v'hu chashuv. He's given a special own dedicated bracha because these trees are found in Eretz Yisrael. Kavula bracha b'fnei atzim lahir es al chashivusay v'im berich beri atzim b'samim yotzim b'di evad ayim b'bachol pri megadim. Okay, good. Hey, shemen zayis olive oil shekos shay aytochna you grind it and or crush it at shechaz arechay until it uh, smells. Noidef mevarich olav beri atzim b'samim says the Mishnah Bura shekos shay. You crush it at shechaz apirush. Shelo nosim b'soichus shum b'sam. You don't add anything else. El shemach mas kachsishas oitzachinas hazayis hischel Hashem and liyos reichu noidev. It just through the own natural process, it smells uh, nice. And then you make bore atze b'samim. Shazayis gadol al ha'etz because after all, an olive is grown on a tree. V'adin mishap perish gadol al ha'etz. So too other fruit of a tree. Im also ki agavna. If you do the same sort of thing, you crush it and you make. Sp- You know, perfume from it. If it comes from fruit which are not grown on a tree, but the shek tochnom ksosham merech shamnom, ain't a very rak al alem rak bere mine besomim. That you make the more generic one. For hard the ain't a very and I'll call elu hanosin rech tov beperus. Why don't you make that bracha? Isn't that the more obvious bracha to make? Again, that is the bracha nosin rech tov beperus is the bracha you make on on fruit. Which also smell nice. So why don't you make that bracha here? Come over, esrog b'chiyut to bezer to hos mishani shegidel im harech because there an esrog its smell develops with the actual fruit. Avol hocha ein harech gidel imayim. It doesn't. El abo alidei kasishes v'tchinas shenasis b'deodam. The smell only develops afterwards once you crush it and grind it. Ein shaych levarech hanoisin shleinitzu b'harech mitchilasa because the smell wasn't given from the outset. Because the actual smell is is very much deeply inside it and will only emerge later through the crushing and grinding of it. Okay, so olive oil, only that which is crushed and grinded has a nice smell, then uh, you make atse besomim. Okay, now, sivov. Shemen shebismoi. Now this is where we're going to get on to our perfume. 
says the Mechaba, Shemen Shebismai, Kamei Shemen HaMishcha, nice smelling oils, Im Ba'atzeh Besomim, if it comes from Eitzim, then Mevarech Beri Atzeh Besomim, Im Ba'atzeh Besomim, if it comes from sort of shrubs and with the ground, Mevarech Beri Isve Besomim, Im Hoi Ba'atzeh Besomim, Im Ba'atzeh Besomim, Mavarich bere mine besomim. If there's different things, then you make the more generic bere mine besomim. Now, the imsinin over hitzim meno absomim. If you sort of uh, strain it and you bring out the besomim, yeshemim shem mavarich bere shemen orev. That's the brachim make. Yeshemim shem mavarich alav klal. David reich shein le ika. The kiven she sofik who nochen isom in reich boy. And if that, and that's an important klal. If the reich hasn't got an ika, hasn't got a, an immediate natural source, then you don't make a brach on it. So we'll we'll see in a second how the what the application of this is. So says the Mishnah Berurah. Simon Siv Cotton Chof Vov Shemen Shebismo Rotzeloma Shenosam Be Besomim Kadei Sherech Hashemen. You put other per, sort of spices in it in order to make the shemen smell nice. Who had in mind Moshe Mashkin Shenosam Bohem Ha Besomim? It doesn't have to be oil. You can put it in water and you you know you and you put besomim in it. Uh, then um, then it depends uh, what the besomim are. Kamei Shemen Hamishcha Sif Chotzen Sif Chotzen Chavzayin Ein Hakavana She Also B'Shir of a Middle Kamei Shemen Hamishcha. We're not talking where you literally made the Shemen Hamishcha, which of course in in the Mik, which is uh, used in the Mishkan and the Beis Hamikdash. Does it also? You can't you know, remake it. Elahu Mare Lonu Shederech Levasim Shemen Besomim. It's just that's how you do it. You add you add Besomim to oils to make it smell nice. Or Kamei Shemen Hamishcha B'Shemen Hamishcha Shoyim Besomim Levasim Oso. That's what they would like. We see with the Shemen Hamishcha, they would also sort of add spices to make it smell nice. So if it comes from Eitzim and Besomim, Rotzelim uh, Bein Isve Besomim Bein Mine Besomim, then it depends. Then you make a very Atzim Besomim, or you can make a very Isve Besomim. It depends on where it comes from. The Im Sinan, if you if you strain it, um, then Pirush to Kol Zeh Mari B'Shenishal Kol Ponim Maatzim Ika Boisin Asoyche. So long as a little bit of the natural uh, root of it, the original, the, the ikah, remains, that's why you can make the brach of that minav. And in Sinai, then you've strained it and it's gone, then not. Then you make bore uh, shemen, or bore mini besomim, sorry, then you make bore shemen orev. Uh, now, but if you've got a smell, she'in lo ikah, so then, ve'ena el rech kolosh ba'almon, it's a weak smelling uh, fragrance, ve'ena mevorchin olov, in those days, they would sometimes put smells on the actual uh, cloths and things like that. We're talking about sh- perfumes and aftershaves. This is your question. Says the Mishnah Bura Lamad base. So he says if there's if there's a reach she'en lo ikka which hasn't got a source, then it's a sofeik and nochen lezoy mil reach So it says the Mishnah Bura in Lamad base. Because if that's all that you got, if you got other besomim where it's then, which is clear, the bracha is clear. Then mevarich alehem atze or mine, whichever is appropriate. For yitzig gamazen, then you'll be mitzi for the other smell. For I'm bachronim. Check out the achronim demaske. They conclude. The misha in eretz lahachman atze mutzal lechatchila loriach levarich bari mine besomim. For tzarich lahazir shabiyam akipurim. Loichim mine spritum, yeah. So he says spritum is uh, may boysim, some sort of perfume. That's what you're talking about, Chaim. Hamirichim lo reach boy, ve el mevarchim klal. Ve yosim zesh shayvchin al beged pished on shireach boy. They take some perfume and they put it on material, and that's a problem on Yom Kippur. Ve ze osa the molidin reach be beged, which is an issa. The oisin spritus, this perfume shekorin shlok vasa ein levarch al ze klal she ein mirech klal. Because on this perfume, you don't make brachas on it. Now, look at number 26. This is very interesting. Legabi mei voisim, regarding perfume, shenase ba'ofen malachut, yeah, which means uh, manufactured, right? It's sort of a manufactured perfume. Das ha'gonu shleme zaman arbach, she'yitochin she'ein levorech aleihem, that you don't make bracha on perfumes and aftershaves and things like that. Kivin shenase ba'ofen malachut, because it's done in a manufactured way. Listen to this. Not, we'll see in a second. The, the, the problem is, they have fraud of chemists through, through chemical means. I think they're primarily used, he says, to take away bad odors. And we say that you, it's something which is like an air freshener. Yeah, we've learned it already. An air freshener is there not to give a nice smell, but to take away a bad odor. And therefore, you to neutralize a bad odor. And therefore, that doesn't necessitate rocha. 
So that's from Shlomo Zalman's Pesach. Me'idach, that's a gonna be Yashuv. Uh, if it comes from a natural means, then it's coming ultimately from HaKadosh Baruch Hu's creations. synthetia, synthetic type of thing, and so too with Scheinberg. etc., etc. So, Lemaisa, and then he says, Omnom, by the way, if, when you smell it, he says, so let me go, I'll come back to that point in a second. So he says, nowadays, most perfumes are from artificial ingredients, and therefore it's a machlok zapoiskim. Rabbi Shlomo Zalman and Rabbi Yashav say, generally, you don't make a brach on perfumes and aftershaves nowadays. Rabbi Vad Yosef, Rabbi Scheinberg say you do. Um, and even, they say that you could even make, if you haven't got the regular Havdola stuff, they say that you could even make a brach on perfume for Havdola, on Basomit. But Rabbi Shlomo Zalman and Rabbi say no. Just one second. But just the, he says there in the end of 26, he says, interestingly, So say, for example, you walk in and you're all uh, perfumed up or after shaved up and I smell it on you, then everyone says you don't make a bracha. Why? Because if the perfume is not in the bottle but it's already absorbed in the guf of a person, because like we said, like the Machaba says over here, the perfume has to have an ikka. The rak im nishira adayin in rituvus me boisim aler is just that the wetness is actually just still on your skin. Then, then uh, if if it's still properly on your skin, they're not. But if it's absorbed into the body, they're not. Yeah. The person putting it on is not putting it on to take away a bad smell. It's so this it on is the machlekes. Like an antiseptic, which gives a smell for the skin right. after shaving. Or so to it smell nice. Into, so it does yeah. fall into either category. Yeah. So th- this this is this is the machlek zapoiskim, uh, and therefore I, I think the minigodim is not to. That's my yeah, experience. So but uh, yeah, to, yeah, uh, it could be. But either way, Shem Zalman and Rashi seem to say that no bracha. Ravadim Shemberg would say yes, but again, only if you take it from you smell it from the bottle and not when it's already absorbed into the person's skin. The person Just by the way, also, if if you're talking about perfume on another woman then there's a separate issue. One shouldn't be smelling perfume on another woman. That's not to get a no from the, the, right. the perfume with the rech. If, it was common for if it's his own wife, that's okay. That's a different story. It was story. common in those days for women to put it on to take away from the bad smell. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sharpness is the... Yeah, right, so that's, if it's to take away the bad smell, then that's also another reason not to make... Well, shave is not to take away the bad smell. It's an antiperspirant. That's what I said. Right, so it depends what the swara would be. So again, this seems to be a machlokas in the poiskim, and uh, yeah, it seems to be that I would have to ask your own poiskim exactly what to do. But this seems to be a machlokas in the but there are... <laughs> but, but if it's absorbed in the flesh, then not. If it's on somebody else's, if it's another yeah. woman, then you shouldn't be smelling anyway. And uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, proceed.